Hey, what's up guys? This is Phil Ebner from videoschoolonline.com and today I'm bringing to you another great tutorial. Um, it was actually a request by Colton on my one of my Udemy courses. Check them out at videoschoolonline.com slash courses. So Colton asked um, how to create sort of a countdown effect within After Effects and there's different ways to do it and one of the main ways to do it is using expressions but expressions is an advanced topic that can get a little tricky so I'm going to teach you a way to create a digital countdown without expressions and it'll really take you only five minutes to do it once you have learned from this tutorial so it'll look something like this now the background can basically change to whatever you want but um, Colton asked, uh, he gave me some examples and they had some waves and different effects going on. And that stuff is, you know, you just have to create your own on your own. And there's different effects within After Effects that you can use, like Fractal Noise, which will create a really cool countdown. But basically, it starts from five minutes and goes down to zero. And you can make this however long you want. Um, so let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is start a new composition and make it the length of how the, your countdown. So for example, we're going to do five minutes. But you'll notice that I made it five minutes and one second. And that's because um, I wanted this start to kind of hold at the five minute mark and then start counting down. So because if you start it and it just goes from 5 to uh, 4.59 automatically, it's kind of abrupt. So go ahead and start a new composition. That's about one second more than your countdown, just so you have a little bit of wiggle room. But it's actually going to be five, five minutes. So then you want to start a new layer. It doesn't really matter what it is, so you can start a text layer. And then go to your effects and presets panel and type in numbers. And you'll get under the text bin a numbers effect. Drag that onto your layer. Now you'll be able to choose the font and style um, if there's a bold or italicized style. Uh, but just you know keep it at this and then alignment keep it right. So you can choose a, a different font if you want. You'll pop up with some numbers. Now in your effects controls tab up here in the left, you'll see lots of different options for adjusting this. What we're going to do first is go to type, change from number to time. So now you'll see that it's the beginnings of our effect. And then you will, so for value, we're going to change that later. later. Decimal places, a clock doesn't have decimal places, so leave that. Position and color, and um, that's what we want to change. So you can change this to white or whatever color you want. And then size, we're going to make this a lot bigger. Now you'll notice that you can't move this around on your screen um, with the position function. You have to move it with this position option in your effects, effects panel. So just go ahead and move the clock to kind of the center. And we can move this later, but it doesn't really matter right now. And then what you're going to want to do is set the value to 5, which is 300. So up here in the value, you can twirl this down. And I don't know, I guess 5 is 300 value because it's five minutes times 60 seconds, so 300 uh, seconds. So then at about one second in, which you can zoom into your, your timeline using the plus and minus uh, keys on your keyboard. So at one second, you're going to want to set a keyframe for five or the 300 value. So click your stopwatch there. Now zoom out and go to the end of your composition and turn it to zero. Okay, so it turns to 12 because the clock doesn't, you know, if you're counting down on a clock, 
it doesn't, there's no zero o'clock. Um, and that's why we're kind of tricking, we're tricking this clock in to be a countdown. But really it's just a clock. But see, you can scrub through and you have the beginnings of your countdown. Just here, it goes from one o'clock to 12 o'clock, which is, you know, obviously how a clock works. And I can render a little bit and show you how it actually works. So it starts at five and you'll see a little pause, but then it starts five, four, net, 459, 58, 57, starts counting down. So that's basically our countdown. We want to get rid of the AM and then when it gets down to 12 o'clock, we want to get rid of the 12. Unfortunately, you can't just take your mask tool and mask out this stuff because it's an effect. It's not actually text on the screen. So we're going to, going to have to pre-comp this, so press Command-Shift-C if you're on a Mac, and then just call this layer counter. And then we can use the mass tool, or the rectangle tool up here, draw a box around AM, and then down under mask, where it says add, make that subtract, okay? So now the AM is gone. But now we want to get um, rid of the 12. One easy way to do that is just go where it changes from one, one minute to 1259 and just split this layer. And so just do a command shift D or control shift D if you're on a PC. And then we're gonna add another mask to this second layer, the one with the 12. So you'll see the whole countdown from five mi minutes to one is on one layer and then the last minute is on the second layer. So create another mask around the 12 and make it subtract. You can even, if you wanted, you know, add a zero in there just so that you don't lose the minute uh, part of your clock. But for this tutorial, now we have a great countdown. And then the last thing is basically just adding some sort of effect in the background. So I'll just show you kind of how I did this one. So you can create a new layer, just press Command Y to create a solid, and then go to your effects and create, select Fractal Noise, add it to your layer. So now you have this uh, basic cloudy figure. You can drop this underneath your counter. So now you have a cloudy figure underneath your, your counter. Now we're going to set keyframes for the evolution. So go to the start of your composition, set a keyframe at zero degrees, and then go forwards and just rotate this around a couple times. So it's like one rotation plus 245 degrees. So now you have some differentiation in the backdrop. But we can then change this. So we can change it from a different fractal type to like dynamic or or cloudy if you want clouds and then the noise type you can choose like block or linear or spleen or spline I guess I don't know how you pronounce that so I did block before and then I want to change the color so I'm going to actually change the solid settings so if you go up to layer solid settings you can change it from black to like red or blue how I had it but it still doesn't change, so you have to change the blending mode to like multiply or screen or something so that you get some of that red coming through. But it's still hard to see the countdown, so what I did was here, I uh, added a, a black oval. So I just, you know, you can just create a shape, um, a new shape, select the ellipse tool, you know, change your color, I don't want a stroke, and then just make a shape, put it underneath your clock, center it, etc. And you just want to make sure that this counter is centered so I can pop open my title action safe and I can move the clock around. It looks like it is centered actually. And then my black oval you know, make sure that that's centered as well. So now you have a cool countdown. Of course you can, you know, move the clock around, counter around, change the backdrop, 
you know, if you need one of those cool effects that uh, you see online, um, you can download something from like videohive.net. But now you know how to make a countdown. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the question, and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, have a great day, and let me know if you have any questions. Please subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube, and otherwise, uh, check out videoschoolonline.com for more great tutorials and online courses. Bye.